Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So, I look a little bit so like death, but I got but I look a little bit more with a wig than I did yesterday. And I'm about to make coffee. My dad and I were used to different coffees. We have Pike's Palette Roast and my dad just got breakfast blend, which we've never gotten before. That's going to be very interesting. So, get this coffee made so I can get ready and go to work. Okay, so today I have a very a semi busy day. I have to get ready for work, go to work. Um, let me move you out of this little light. I uh, go to Walmart to pick up a few items that I didn't pick up for the past two days. <laughs> busy day, not really busy at all, so, so like I said, while that is brewing and no filling up, I'm going to put my makeup on and then I will talk to you guys in the car and I know I said I'll show you a lot of things today. Not because I'm in such a rush, because I have to be at work at 9.30, and I mean not 30, 10.30, and it's already 9.06, so I'm going to have to show you those later, so I gotta go get ready. It is many hours later when I'm in my car. Um, I'm actually back home from work. Actually, not really. I'm not home per se. I'm in the parking lot of Walmart. So, a well, lot's happened. I really don't want to get into anything that really happened while I was in at my work, but it was a really good day. Um, I got to talk to a lot of people, got to see like perspective of everything that I needed to focus in my life um, because uh, sometimes whenever I'm at work and I talk to some of my um, customers and employees, we talk about life and what we can do to improve not only my life but each other's lives as well. So it was really good but um, I went to Walmart. I was supposed to go to Walmart yesterday but I didn't so got a few items. I was supposed to get four items and I did get four items but um, I, was, I wanted to get some eye cream because um, 
I don't know if I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog, but um, during Black Friday, I only got like a few hours of sleep because I had to wake up at 4 so I can get to work at 6. And so I've been starting to get a lot of wrinkles under my eyes. And I know that's not a very big deal. It's only like 2 to 3. But to me, it's like kind of like a big deal. And of course, when you put concealer on your eye, it kind of emphasizes it, I feel like, instead of like get rid of it. But the um, eye cream costs like $25 and <laughs> I don't get paid for a little bit and I'm running low on money. So I was like, okay, yeah, no. But I did get the items I did need. I needed um, more makeup wipes. The one I was supposed to get, the one, the white one I usually get, costs like $5, like $5 to $6. This costs like four to five. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna go for these ones. I'm gonna use the simple. Because my skin is very sensitive, very dry. It gets dry around my nose and the cheeks. So got that. And then um, they didn't have my color, but I got airspun loose powder. I was gonna get the translucent, but there was only four left and it was in the natural neutral 070-11. So I got that. Um, I know James Charles doesn't use this because of this flashback Mary incident two years ago, but um, I don't get flashbacks at all. So, because I'm already pale enough and this just makes me even a little bit more pale besides putting bronzer on me. So I got that and then of course I needed another toothbrush because the one I'm using is very old. So um, this one costs like $4, not that bad. I'm supposed to be using like a tiny kid's brush to brush my teeth and I do have that. But I use that in the morning and then I use this at night. So there's that. And of course that would have been all. It would have been up to $10 kind of. But I love bandanas so much. I've been in this phase, like if you've seen from my Disney and sometimes I'll post on my Instagram that I wear bandanas a lot. Um, I have like a yellow bandana, I have a pink bandana, I have a football one, a one that has dog paws on it, and a Gryffindor Harry Potter one that I wore for Thanksgiving. I didn't take a picture on that day because I didn't feel like it and I meant to and I never got around to it. So I was going to get a black one for work but the only ones they had in black was um, Blackpool related or the ones with dog paws or with football and I already have those two and I can't wear that to work unless for like a few seconds. So I got white because white is very acceptable for my work and it already has black in it. So maybe tomorrow or Wednesday or whenever I'll wear this to work. And yeah, that's all I got. That's my Walmart haul. I didn't get much because your girl's out of money. And it's just like, hey, I don't get paid for a little bit. And I have to pay my dad off for the month and stuff. So this only cost me like $16. And then of course I had to fill my car up with gas. So that cost me close to $30. So yeah, it was a little bit much, but I needed to get some stuff. And these are like the essentials, except for one. But the rest were like very essential. Um, even though you saw during my makeup that I used one translucent powder already, but I used that the other day and I feel like it makes me very cakey because I didn't do my two sprays I usually do. I have a Urban Decay um, Cool Protector Spray that I use on my face first after I put translucent powder all over it, but I just totally forgot to do it because I was like in the zone and just wanted to get out of there. So yeah, I'm gonna go home and I will show you guys my bathroom because it's finally clean. I got a clean bathroom, guys. I'm so happy. And I have a headache, so I want to eat something, take some Advil, because I really don't want a headache all day, because that usually happens every day. Like, recently I've been getting headaches and I'm getting washed out <laughs> through the sun so you guys can barely see me. And So I'm going to go home and everything, so I'll talk to you guys when I get home. My hair is a mess, but it's always a mess. Um, it's been many hours later, so update time. Uh, I changed my shirt, which into a yellow sweatshirt. I'm wearing the Girl Supporting Girls Adeline Morn shirt. I love her so much. She's one of my favorite influencers. Um, with some sweatpants and slippers. But I'm holding my dog, um, stuffed animal, her favorite stuffed animal. Uh, if you didn't know, um, I had a collie slash Australian Shepherd mix named Kylie. And I posted on Instagram on August 27th that we put her down after her battling with a tumor on her left paw for about over a year and a half. And if we amputated, we had two choices. Amputate her leg, which give her a little bit more time with us to so three to five years. Or if we don't, we get at least two to two and a half years. And we got a year and a half, 
which is better. <laughs> not really, it's not that better, but I feel like we made the right choice for her because we didn't want her to retrain herself in any way. And this is her slash my stuffed animal. If you guys can see, his eyes just torn out. This is Tanner. My brother got this for me for Christmas a long time ago when I was very little, probably like seven years old. And his name is Tanner. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that. And a little bit after I got Kylie, I had two stuffed animals. I had a husky named Nanook, which I don't think I have anymore around here. I don't know where he is. I mean, must have thrown him away. And Tanner. I gave Nanook to Kylie because she kept stealing Tanner and we thought, oh, maybe she just wants this stuffed animal, a buddy. So we gave her Nanook because I love Nanook at the time, but I couldn't let go of Tanner. And so finally she kept getting him off my bed, which was probably on the other side of my room at the time because we moved my room so much. Um, so she always kept grabbing Tanner, running down the stairs, circling around the room, being crazy. And it was so cute. So I decided to finally give her Tanner and our dog Abby did this to his eyes and his nose because she doesn't like shiny glass eyes and shiny noses, which is why I keep a lot of my stuffed animals away from her. And so <laughs> today would have been Kylie's birthday. She would have been 12 years old and there was not like a crying, like we're not crying or anything. We're actually happy that we, we shouldn't say happy that we put her down. We're just happy that she's no longer suffering, to be honest. But we always have her in memory with the ornament my mom got me. I will actually show that on our Christmas tree whenever we put the video, uh, the photo up. And then of course, just like celebrating her with Tanner all the time and remembering her on her birthday and it would have been a really nice to actually have her birthday because Christmas was one of her favorite things besides my birthday so I guess if I keep touching my nose I'm very itchy at the moment but she she would always help me open up my Christmas presents like there was something about paper that she did not like so she would always rip it apart for me whenever she was in a happy mood so there is that, but it's been many hours later, and besides the birthday, a lot of stuff has happened since then. I dropped my dad off at the airport. He needed to go, and so he's going to be gone for two weeks, so it's just going to be me and mom at the house. And then, of course, dad wanted me to rake the yard, and that was a big process. If you have not seen our backyard, we have three levels. We have, like, a woodsid area, and then a second level um, for like wherever I used to play when I was a kid and we used to even have a little jungle gym area there and then the top layer is where we have our pool, our spa, our gazebo, our screened in area and like all the bunch of other stuff that was there on our first level and I had to rake the top layer and the second layer which the second layer had like a lot of leaves and I did it around four and it gets dark around here around five so, it's not completely finished. I'm going to do it in the morning, probably before I leave to go to my eye appointment. But, um, ooh. but I found a tick on me, so I had to ch um, take a quick shower with makeup on, which I'm so surprised it's still connected so well. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have really great lighting in my room. Pretty weird. But, um... I realize I haven't uploaded my first day of Vlogmas yet, so I'm going to find my little, because uh, I only have like a tiny SIM card in here in my camera, and so I have a big card to place the SIM card in there, and then ooh, place it somewhere in my room here, so I'm going to start editing the video so that I can go up, and my battery is saying it needs to be charged, I'm about to die. Literally in like five minutes, so I'm gonna charge my battery and while it's charging, I'm gonna upload a day one of Vlogmas. So that's gonna be a very boring vlog, so I will find my piece that I'm looking for and I will talk to you once my battery has charged. I just feel like my hair just keeps getting messier and messier if you guys, their eyes can't see it, if I can speak English very well. So, um, the video is up, I edited up, edited the Vlogmas. <laughs> video and it's up and live i'm so excited i even posted a, the photo on my instagram if you guys want to see that as well i'm so excited about it 
Um, it wasn't my favorite vlog, but I feel like this one I did a little bit more themed. The sad thing is, you know, Vlogmas is supposed to be, you know, something festive, and I haven't done anything festive at all, to be honest. So, I'm working on it, guys, I promise. But as promised in yesterday's vlog, I said I was going to show you my clean bathroom. It is clean, but the floor, I did not take the rugs out and sweep the floor, so my hair is still all over the place, but the sink and tub are and the toilet is clean. I'll show you the sink. Like I told you guys, it was like very orangish and very makeup-ish right around here, and it was very, like, you can see on the makeup products in here. And so... So happy I got all that clean and then of course all my like little holders are clean-ish and of course all my makeup brushes are kind of clean. I used them this morning as you saw earlier. Really cool and all my beauty blenders, they're clean. They do have some stains on them except for this one because I have, haven't had this for a long time. But these three I've had for a long time and some of them still do have staining on them. This one has the worst one but whatever. The towel's not going to stay here that long, it's going to go up and away. And of course, if you saw in yesterday's vlog, this is like very dirty-ish, but I cleaned it up. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I go to Lush every once in a while if you've seen. But this is the Scrubby, and I love it so much, but these little beads on the bee, they are so hard to get out of the tub, I had to like bend over with this sweatshirt and try to clean each one of them out. So that was very, very, very fun. So, I'm gonna get ready for bed now. I have an appointment, an eye appointment tomorrow, 9.15. Um, you guys are probably like, why do you need to go for a fitting? Like, why are you going in there? I have a fitting um, recently Guys, I don't think I told any of you guys this at all. I don't think I haven't even told anyone except my family. Um, my left eye, I was having problems. I couldn't see out of it that well. So, like, it would be, like, fine. And then, like, later on in the day, like, I couldn't see a thing for, like, an X amount of time. And then, finally, my eyesight would come back and everything would be normal. But it kept happening a lot. And so I was like, oh, probably it's because I need to change my contacts i haven't done that at one time but it was still the same problem so so i emailed my um palm eye care which is my um eye doctor and they checked me out they were said like I, my eyes said it's normal but i they think i needed to change um a new brand um i don't know what these are my eyes but i've been using ooh, like the cooper vision cooper vision this kind I've been using and they've been good to me recently they've been the best they made a very hard one because um, my left eye is more sensitive than my right eye for some good reason like I can't see out of it that well so and of course it was very fragile I think like the two days after getting my contacts for the first time I ripped like I kept ripping my left contact lenses a lot, so we we're like, okay, this is a problem. I keep doing this. We need a very durable one, so we got a durable one. And so these ones that I'm having right now, they're also very durable as well. And I'm going in them for a fitting. I don't know what a fitting is besides a dress fitting, but I'm hoping it doesn't take that long. So I'm gonna go in there with no makeup because last time I went there with this amount of makeup, I came out with little streaks under my eyes and I didn't care because I didn't have anything else to do that day. I was just went out on a date and then I just went home and then I went there and that was it for the rest of the day. I wasn't going out and if I did, I didn't really care. But um, this time I do, so I'm going in with no makeup. I'm gonna be very dead in the morning. And so then come home, put my makeup on really quick, and then take my mom to the doctor to get her stitches out, her staples out, all this and that, and then go to work tomorrow. And so I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna get ready for bed. Um, like I got, like you saw earlier, these are the makeup remover. I'm not going to show you this, and I said I was going to show you my um, face wash. I'll actually show you that tomorrow. 
probably early in the morning. I plan on getting up at 8. So if I do, I'll show you guys my what I use to wash my face because everyone just uses like oh so many different products and you guys know when I was in college I only got to use two products now I'm using like three to four different products and it's pretty weird so stay tuned for that so let's take this makeup off I know, I know, I said I wasn't going to show you my um, face, you know, skincare routine. I was just showing you a clip of it, you know, just really good what I do. And I will break it down, how I do it from step to step tomorrow in Vlogmas and my hair. I'm so sorry, guys. My hair is like my biggest security besides my zombie face. It's just one of those things I just... I like it to be straight, but I was out in the humidity, like I said, raking, and then I put it in a bun. So it got a little bit crazy, so I'll put it in a braid tomorrow. Don't worry. But I'm going to head to bed. I already blew out my candle, and I'm about to do my oil diffuser, which I didn't show you. I said I was going to show you. So I'm going to show you right now. This is really cute. I got this from Amazon. So Yankee Candle, they have, or Chesapeake Bay, I should say, has their own, like, oil diffuser. But it costs so much, we don't get a discount off of it at all. So I looked online, and this was, like, $5 cheaper, which was really good. And so, all the way around it, it looks like it's a forest with wolves on it. And you guys know me, I love my wolves so much, and it's really cool. I actually have the lavender scented. I have four oils. I have a sleep that has lavender in it. And this is Uplift. It has sweet oranges in it, which is really good. I love this whenever I need to uplift, you know, during the rainy days. Um, this one is Inv Invigorate. Um, this has something in it. A lot of people tell me that it's for like good for depression which I don't have a lot of times. I do say I have depression, but I really don't. I just have sadness. And then this is everyone's favorite at my store. This is Revitalize. This is what I like to use whenever I do my um, journaling. I know you guys can't see it very well because it's very blurry, but I mainly use the Revitalize and I'm almost, uh, almost out of the sleep. I'm probably like right there in it. I got more left in it. I put, um, if you look inside, there's like this little filter thing in it and you're supposed to fill it up with water to where it says the max. I would show it to you guys, but I really don't want to take this off because it's really, I just want to go to bed. And then you pour these, it says five to seven drops, but sometimes I put 10 to 12 the drops depending on how long it's going to be so I feel like putting it in there for a long time like more means very stronger and so I would do sleep and the revitalize I like to use that and then of course it changes colors I'll show you that because it is very loud so it goes from like white to blue to blood red which is my favorite at night and of course the oil diffusers from up here if you guys don't know how, how an oil diffuser works um i know it doesn't look like it's changing the color but the first color takes time you guys can see now it's turning from like a whitish bluish to like a green i don't know if you can pick it up on here that well but it is changing colors 
I guess my favorite one's the blood red because at night I like to have the light turn on, not everyone does. And so the blood just makes it very dark and very mysterious in my room. So I love that very much. I think it's just about to do the blood red. Like I said, I don't know if the camera can pick it up that well. But yes, that color right there is my favorite, the blood red. Everyone's like, oh, you're so weird for liking the blood red. No, it just makes it very dark and mysterious in my room. Which is why I like it. But I want to go to bed. I'm going to wake up very early in the morning, like I said. So, as you can see, it's still going on. I will hit the on um, button. The best thing about this one, uh, the ones at our store, it goes on for like so many hours that it doesn't have a timer. Whereas this one, it has a timer I can put it on for. If I feel like I'm only going to be here for an half an hour to almost three to four hours, I'll place it on there. But at night, I like to put it for like two hours because I did do it for like three to hours, like three or more hours. One time, and I went to bed, and I woke up, and it was still going. So I don't like doing it that much. That's why I like to do about two hours. That way I can sleep. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go to bed. I am not really tired-ish, but I am kind of tired. So I'm setting my alarm, like I said, for 8. So I can make my bed, so that I can show you my, um, how I get my face to be nice and smooth. I like my face, my skin. Because I, if you guys can see, I do have some acne, but if you guys have looked back in March, I actually will do a before and after on here as well to show you, and probably on my Instagram, of what my face looked like in March when I first started this journey to now. So I will show you guys that tomorrow vlog, maybe. If not, maybe in day four. We'll see. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go to bed. I love you all so much. Hope you have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is there. Know that I love you all so much, and I'll catch you tomorrow with a brand new video for Vlogmas night.